Hi everyone, welcome back to the Lawn Fawn YouTube channel. This is Mindy and in today's video, I am going to be creating this really fun surprise birthday card featuring some cute critters and doing a little altering of the Let's Toast Pull Tab Interactive Die Set. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just give you a look here at some of the stamp sets that I'll be using. I'm using a little kitty from the Say What Pets, the Rub-A-Dub-Dub -Dub and Meow You Doing stamp set. I'll start my card by doing some Copic coloring. So I stamped the images onto Lawn Fawn white cardstock with the Lawn Fawn jet black ink. And then I'm starting out by coloring the tub, which is sometimes kind of hard to color when you want it to be white. I went with some cool grays. For the tub, I had used C4, C3, C2, C1, and C0. And I will list the colors at the top of the screen for you that you can pause the video at any time and write those down. For the two kitties, I went with some warm grays. So I did W2, W1, and W0. I did bring in W4 for just a little bit of a shadow. And then I added stripes to my kitties with the W5. Then I'll come in and just kind of work on some of the smaller elements. So the little pirate ship and the duck. I just added some cute little bath, to bath toys. This is part of the Rub-A-Dub-Dub -dub set. So I was giving my cute little critters something to play with in the bathtub. And then I'm going to work on the bubbles. And bubbles can be pretty tricky because they're kind of uh, see-through or iridescent. So I went with the BV uh, Copic marker set. I have BV01, 000, and quadruple zero. And I apologize if it's a little hard to understand me. I've been dealing with a summer cold and my head is still pretty stuffed up. So I apologize if I sound a little stuffy. Once I have everything colored, I just use the coordinating dies, hold them in place with post-it tape, and run those through my die cut machine. Next, I'm going to work on my background. So I am using mermaid cardstock, and this is the St Stitched Speech Bubble Backdrop. And I'm going to stamp some sentiments on here for my background. This is the Critter Chatter stamp set, and I'm going to stamp these sentiments in peacock ink. And I will use an acrylic block to do this. So I'm just going to randomly place these in the speech bubble. I don't need to cover the entire piece because I am going to trim this down. And I will also be covering part of it up towards the bottom as like a bathroom floor. So I'll just kind of randomly fill in those speech bubbles with all the different ones. There's quite a few on here for the cat. So I have a lot of meows. I have it purring and just filling those in. Once I have the top part of my card mostly stamped in, I also bring in this cute little heart. Now there are a ton of hearts on the Lawn Fawn stamp sets. This one might be from um, Meow You Doing, I can't remember offhand, but grab a small heart and it's really cute to add that in those little small bubbles. Then I'm bringing out the Let's Toast Pull Tab die set. I'm gonna use the one where it's gonna cut the notch at the top, so I'll start by doing that. And that is just creating that opening so we can pull up our slider piece. Now this is where it gets really fun. I took the Lawn Fawn Acetate and I die cut that element, the slider element from the acetate. This is going to allow me to customize whatever I want to do. Since the, the Let's Toast is designed for the Let's Toast stamp set and meant for a bigger object like the toaster, I want to be able to use this with smaller elements and obviously our backer piece would show through on some of those smaller ones. So by cutting it from acetate, I am able to give kind of an illusion that there's nothing behind it and it's still moving. Now the Lawn Fawn acetate is a really good durable acetate. So I did run this through the die cut machine twice and it is a little hard to score on those lines, but I was able to get it scored for the most part and I just reinforced it with the bone folder. Next, I'm taking the straight uh, die in there. There is a curved one for the toaster. This is the straight one that's gonna create that slit so I can slide my interactive piece through. So once I have it lined up about where I want it to be, I can run that through the die cut machine 
And then I'm taking that acetate interactive piece and just sliding that from the back through the front and opening up those flaps. I also die cut out a white cardstock. This is going to be our piece that's securing our acetate strip on the back there. We're not actually taping this to the back of that strip. It's just uh, kind of a placeholder so it doesn't move around a lot. And I did find the acetate is really durable when you're sliding. It's not going to buckle. It just has a really nice uh, strong hold to it. So now to kind of start putting our elements together, I did go ahead and add my bath toys to the bathtub using the Lawn Fawn glue and then my bath bubbles. And this is just giving me an idea about how far I'm going to have the kitty go. And I did trim those tabs down just a little bit. And I'm going to line that with the Lawn Fawn double-sided tape. Now afterwards, once everything was done and over with, I did go back and add a little bit of Lawn Fawn liquid glue um, to those areas where I had the double-sided tape. It was kind of popping off on me a little bit when I was playing with it. So I reinforced it with the Lawn Fawn glue just to make sure my kitty stays in place. Then I'm taking some small foam squares, adding those to the very edges of my bathtub, just lightly putting that in place over the kitty. And then once I know I'm not catching on those foam squares, I can give that a harder push to make sure those foam squares are really stuck to the background. You just wanna make sure whatever image you're putting over the top is giving you enough room for your slider piece to move up and down. This is just decorating the tab. So I am lining that with some double-sided tape. I am covering up that area where the triangle is because I die cut it out of mermaid cardstock as well, just to kind of give a little bit more interest to that tab. And this is just gonna indicate to the recipient that they need to pull that up to see the surprise. I'm just lining that up over that acetate piece so that that can pull up. And being that I line the entire thing with the double-sided tape, I can just pop that little triangle right in there and that's gonna hold down. Now to make sure I'm giving this enough room for the interactive piece to move, I did layer this twice with foam tape. And I'm going to attach that to a card base that I made. I have white as my main card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have a piece of peacock cardstock there uh, cut to four by five and a quarter. So that gave my interactive piece enough room to move up and down and be able to get my fingers in there to pull that up. The rest is just decorating the front of this card. So I'm putting the mama cat in the front added a little bit of a foam square on the corner and then the rest with the glue, the liquid glue. Then for the bath bubbles, the bottle of soap, I'm gonna just add that right to the background and some of the bubbles floating up from the bathtub, I am going to line those with liquid glue and also some foam squares just for some little added interest. And I just love how this little kitty is popping out of the bath because if you know cats, most of them that I have found are not fond of baths. So that's why I thought this sentiment was so super funny to me. My husband didn't get it, but I thought it was really funny. So the sentiment reads, hope your day is filled with surprises. And then we have this cat popping out of the bath. So I, I giggled at it. I'm going to stamp this sentiment on some guava cardstock. And I'm going to heat emboss it with white embossing powder. Now this sentiment was too long for the front of my card. So I'm just going to trim this sentiment down. So to layer, I'll have two lines to make the sentiment work for the front of my card. And I did also wanna mention, I don't think I said it, is that I did also cut my background piece with the large stitched four bar rectangle. I apologize, I missed that. But I did, you don't have to do it. That was just kind of extra. And then once I trimmed the sentiment down, I'm just lining that down with some adhesive. And I love this color combo, that guava cardstock with the peacock and the mermaid uh, gives such a great contrast, really stands out from the front of the card. And now that we have the bathroom floor down there, which I also had die cut from the large stitched four bar rectangle and my sentiment, we can go ahead and try out our interactive card pull up the tab and we have this adorable kitty popping up out of the bubbles. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video and using acetate for your interactive cards to be able to stretch that even further to use with some of the smaller stamps that Lawn Fawn carries. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me and have an amazing day.